let's talk about the the, the up and coming generation because you brought up your son. Do you do you think there's a disconnect between some of the vets like yourself and you know we got the Bizzles and the Daytons and we can go down the list. Do you think within CHH community is there a disconnect between some of you guys, the vets, between the up and coming artists? I think there is there's a connection and there's a disconnection as well. But I think the connection is bigger because you know we're all under CHH. I do feel like there's a disconnect because there could be some more. I know people always say unity, right? There could be more unity. There's competitiveness because the, the space is expanding into uh, the mainstream world. You know, things like sync licensing, radio shows, TV shows, documentaries, whatever they're using. Christian rap artists now because their music is just as good as the secular artists and it's safe. You don't have to censor it. You don't have to worry about messaging. Um, I think it's, and my son and I were just having actually a really, we have great conversations. And Dayton and I call them rap nerd conversations. And we were listening to the Heaven on Earth album. It's so like math. We break down the, every, everything about hip hop. But, you know, my son and I, he, and he makes really good points. And I love this about him because he's an old soul. So, you know, he produces and he makes, he, he produces and his sound is almost like he grew up next to me in the 90s. Mm. But he's, he's, he's 23 years old. You know mm. what I mean? But he can also do the same thing, if not better than every hot producer, the same sound they're doing now. But he can make beats to sound like Pete Rock might have made and might have touched it or wow. DJ Premier might have touched it, you know. And he made a good point. He said, you know, this is something that, so I told him, listen to the album. I'm like, okay, I think it's dope. It's not for me, but I think it's dope. He said, well, someone who might listen to a Lil Uzi Vert can listen to this instead. I'm like, bingo, there it is. Because that was my mission when I, when I finally, when I finally listened to God and got into CHH in 2009, I literally said, when I introduced my son to it, I said, I want, if my superpower is going to be that I can rap, then I want to use it for good. 